Hey guys, I'm Pete the Duck, and I'm here with a quick video for you. I've seen some discussion in the Forge community about ways to recreate the invasion game type from Halo Reach in Halo 4, and some of the people I've seen talking about it have selected to use the Dominion game type, and I really don't think that's the way to go. I think you're better off using the Extraction game type, and that's why I've created this video, just to demonstrate to you how you could use Extraction to recreate invasion and why it might be the better choice. So uh, just to get started here, I've got the extraction game set up for score to win is three. I mean, you can have as many different phases as you want in extraction. You can have a really, really long extraction game with, you know, 10 phases or whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it at three. Uh, number of rounds as two, active sites is one, site location sequential, and site movement on extraction. That's all I got to worry about as far as setting that demonstration up. So let's get started. The thing to keep in mind when you are repurposing game types in Halo 4 is that there are really context-sensitive objective waypoints. If you're trying to use a game type for something it wasn't really intended for, you're going to have to deal with these constant waypoints that can really confuse and distract players, and I don't like that. Which is why I really like extraction. So, for example, here I've set up a really tiny map to demonstrate. I have three different extraction sites. Think of it like three different phases during an invasion game. This is the first phase, second phase, and third phase. Now, if I was using Dominion to create this map, you would have a waypoint on all three phases. But because I want this to be like invasion, I only want a waypoint for the first phase right now. And so you can see using extraction, there's just one waypoint. Now, I've assigned this extraction site to red team, and the top screen is the red team player. Now you can see he can't do anything at all with this waypoint. It's a one-sided objective. Only the blue player, which is the bottom screen here, can activate this extraction site. And when I do that, I'm going to have a bridge spawn in here connecting me to the second extraction site. And I'm also going to have a warthog appear over here. Because you can spawn in new pieces, uh, structure pieces and objects with new extraction sites. So you can see I got my bridge and I got my warthog. And of course now the second extraction site is here. And also that is the only waypoint present on the map. Again, if I was using invasion, there would be three or if I was using Dominion, there would be three waypoints constantly. Now, it's not perfect. Anything spawned in during an extraction phase or extraction site is invulnerable. So this Warthog cannot be blown up. And also, if I capture the next extraction site, the Warthog is actually going to explode on its own. So it's a little tricky. Um, it's not perfect, but I think the, you know, just don't, don't spawn in vehicles, spawn in structure pieces, because you can see my bridge is not going to disappear. So you just have to be careful about how you build your maps. Um, also, something that has nothing to do with extraction, but has to do with how Halo 4 spawns objects, is my bridge didn't spawn because I was in the way. Until I moved back, the bridge didn't spawn. So you just need to keep in mind that has a lot to do with Halo 4 and nothing t at all to do with extraction. So I'm going to go ahead and capture this and finish the round. See, I went through all three of my invasion phases. And so in round two, keep in mind, the bottom screen was the attacking player. In round two, the top screen is going to be the attacking player. And so it really does a great job of recreating invasion. And uh, yeah, that's why I think you should use extraction. It has more to do with the waypoints than anything else. Dominion is just... You know, you have the resupply and the fortification notifications all throughout the entire game. If you don't want that, if you want just one clean, nice waypoint on your screen, and that's all you want to worry about, extraction is definitely the way to go. You're missing out on the base spawn points and the resupply, but, you know, smart use of spawning in teleporters and things like that can really help compensate. I think extraction is definitely the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you guys are great out there forging. You know what you're doing. But I hope this gives you some food for thought. Thanks. Mm.